Hi, my name is Marissa Hall, and today I'm going to be talking about my Excel spreadsheet. All right, so let's open up my screen and get on to it. All right, here we go. Let me go ahead and get this all big and nice for us. I'm on the right one. Can you hear? Riley, go on. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go to the very top here. Hey, until I get done, okay? My own hug. Okay, all right, go play. I'll be done in a minute. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, here we go. Um, starting at number, well, first let me show you all of my formulas. So we're going to open up this, then we're going to show the formulas I've used throughout the whole thing. One through here, you can see where we have, looks like we used fractions here on the first one. On the second one, you can see almost identical to the first one. Okay. So here you can see where I used the formula for the sum in these formulas in the end. Okay. On through here. I've used, okay, I'm just going to scroll down because I'm not for sure what, all right, so through here, you can see all the formulas used there, and then going down, you can see all these formulas I used to get those. And in here, the yeah, binomial formulas. Okay. All right. Now, going back to the top, I'm going to talk about a little bit about each each Mama. question here. Mama. Mama, look. I got a book. Okay, Bradley, look. Until I get done, can you wait for just a second, please? Okay. Read okay. it in a minute, okay? Okay. I got this stuff. Mom. All right. I do like quack, quack. <laughs> Bye, Mama. Bye. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Now, on number one, hold on just a second. What? Okay, now go. All right, Um. back to what I was saying. Number one, this would be a theoretical probability question because there was not an experiment conducted in the number of ways a man or woman can answer is divided by the total number of outcomes. I know this because I have researched the differences of empirical and theoretical probability and this is what I understand it to be. This data can be used as a sample for what would happen in a larger survey of the subjects. Going on to number two, we have another probability question of rolling two dice. As you see, I've come here and we have the probability of sum that is an even number that's going to be about 50% there because about half of the chart is even. We have um, the percentage that a sum is a three or product of a three. No, multiple of three. And that's going to be about 33.3%. Now, the probability that is a product of a prime number, we got about 16.7% because, you know, prime numbers are rare. And then, of course, the probability of the product is 12 is about 11.1%. Going on down, here's the probability of buying the lottery ticket. The buyer's income would be a loss of $1.93. The seller's expected outcome would be a gain of $1.93. If the seller was to sell about 5 million tickets, it would make about 97 Oh, let me fix that real quick. Nine million seven hundred thousand um, dollars. I personally think that the results are leading me to believe you shouldn't play the lottery because it's just about like throwing your money away. All right, going on down to number four. 
this here, I've got two diagrams set up here for odds in favor and against if we're working with a prob uh, probability of 9 over 13. Um, this graph here shows the odds in favor, the odds against in the event. And then here I've got two different oval diagrams to show you in dots. The yellow dots represent the odds in favor, and of course the reds against. This would be odds in favor. This would be odds against. All right, going on down here, it's number five. We're looking at the military personnel. I've got the branches of the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, and Coast Guard. I've got um, a graph with the branches and then the number of soldiers. And here we're being asked 